how to create a newsletter in Google Docs. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Docs to create your newsletter for your business or for any personal needs. So let's get into it. Now, first off, Google Docs is pretty simple to open up. You can just go onto your search bar and type docs.new and this will open up a new Google Doc for you if you have logged into your Google account and you can log into any of your Google accounts to access the Google Docs platform. Now, once you have done that, you're going to start off with the basic page. And let's say that you want to start off with a logo over here and some text over here. So what I am going to do is first off, I am just going to center my text because if I'm making a newsletter, I probably do want it to be centered. Once I have done that, I'm just going to select this normal text and I'm going to change it into title. And once I select the title, I'm just going to type in over jewels so let's say this is for a jewelry store or something like that then i'm going to space it to over here until this blue margin over here so i'm just going to do that and once i have spaced it to the blue margin what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the text and i'm going to change the font so you can click on the more font section to access more fonts if you don't like the ones that are already present and you can add your own fonts as well but i'm just going to select one from the already present fonts because there are a lot of fonts that you can play around with over here so i'm just going to check a few out so you can just play around and find something that you like let's say i like this one so what i'm going to do is then i'm going to make it a bit more noticeable so I'll, I'll just make this italic and like this i have my first section of my newsletter now i want to insert any image over here as my logo so for that i would just go on to insert over here and then you can insert an image and you can upload from your computer or search from the web so let's just say i'm going to search from the web and i'm going to say clover so let's say we have this as our logo so i'm just going to select this and insert it over here now once you have inserted your image you can just click Click on the image and then resize it like this so once you have resized your image you can just move your text back like this and then you can resize it accordingly so I want my image to look like this alongside my text and you can fix the position on page for your image like this and then move the text around and that's the easier way of formatting your text so I'm just going to resize this image so it actually fits accordingly. Once I have settled down the image, I'm going to just detach the text. And what you can do is you can re-add your text over here. So you can just add your text once more to format it correctly. And we're just going to decenter it like this. So now I have my basic first section. Now after that, I probably want a strip line for separating the next section. So I'm just going to go on to insert and I'm going to click on horizontal line. And I'm just going to move my cursor down below over here. And I'm going to add a horizontal line. Now I'm going to add my little first strip. So let's say we're doing a sale so I can add that over here. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into insert and I'm going to actually insert a table like this and then I'll remove the central lines in the table. I will just delete these columns over here just so I have a simple little box. And once I have done that, you can obviously format it according to whatever your preference is. So I'm just going to change up the color of the entire thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the filled out color. And I'm going to make this a thicker box. So I don't want this to be a thin looking box. Once I have done that, I will expand it down below. And now what you can do is you can add your text in the center of this little box that you have. So what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to type my sale. So let's say we have our December new arrivals or December collection out now like this. So if you have a basic section like this, what you're going to do first, you're just going to resize your text and change the font. First, just decide on a font that you like. And then once you have your font, you're just going to resize the text so it fits in your box a bit better like this. 
So you can take a look at the margins on the top over here to get a better estimate of how your text is going to look. Now, once you have added the section, you can go on and start adding images. So for adding a image, you're just going to go into insert and then you're going to go into insert image and then you can upload from your own computer as well as search from the web or upload from your drive section. Now let's just search from the web and go with another jewelry image and let's say let's go with this one and you're just going to click on insert over here once you have inserted your image there are many different image options you can go for so if you want text wrapping you want to recolor your image you can do that in google docs as well and you can also make some basic adjustments in the overall brightness of your image if you don't find it that it matches the look of your newsletter so once you have done all of that you're just going to resize this and then you're going to decide how you want your image to be placed so if you want it to be in the center like this or if you want it to be wrapped in text so if you want text on the sides you can do that as well i don't want a text on the sides i just want the central image to be over here like this and i just want to fix the position on page and what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip through these sections and start typing down below now, after that, in your newsletter, you can add any detailed information about the products that you're selling once you have design, done your basic designing for your newsletter. Or you can first off add a, another horizontal line and then start adding any kind of contact information or any information like that. So you can add that at the bottom. And this is how you make a basic newsletter in Google Docs. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to make your own newsletters in Google Docs as well. We are about to end this video and to end it on a good note, I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Goodbye.